Thanks for staying with us. Joining us now is a Nigerian jazz percussionist and drummer and musician who has released about seven albums and jointly won two Grammy Awards. Woo -hoo. Welcome, Olalekan Babalola. Uh, reading up about you, uh, I was particularly interested in Ifa. Yes, me uh. too. Ah, yes, I want to know why, why you, you decided. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, wh why you decided to go the Ifa route where we have a lot of people running away from our religion and traditions, and everybody just wants to adopt what seems to be uh, the light and, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. calling what we have or what we used to have the darkness. Yeah. Okay. So if I choose me, really, and uh, I am a Yoruba, born and bred in Lagos Island Hospital, Lagos Island Maternity Hospital, the famous one, 1960, wow. before the independent, May 15th. Oh. Uh, I like to show off about that. <laughs> <laughs> I drove the English out of the country. Yes, you did. So, while reading about you, uh, you said that every opportunity you have to come to Nigeria, you jump at it, and then you come to Nigeria, you like to play in Nigeria, and all that. So, yes. looking at what you do, I would like to ask, why is it that at every opportunity, of course, Nigeria is where you belong or you come from, but then why is it that you like to uh, come play in Nigeria? How is what you do uh, accepted, you know, in the UK where you reside? Okay, I'm a Yoruba. My name is Olale Komba Balola. <laughs> and no, I'm not a Nigerian. I'm a Yoruba. Hmm. I don't understand the Nigerian project, but I was born in the Nigerian project. Okay. I'm a born again Yoruba. I've traveled to Cuba, where people practice the form. I've, tra I've traveled the Caribbean. I've traveled to Brazil. In Caribbean, in Cuba, it's seen as uh, Santeria, Lukumi, which is the language of my mother, Olukumi, my friend. Yeah. The way they see Orisha, in heaven to earth, how did you come here? Is your Ori that guided you here? Mm -hmm. So the point to your question is, it's my Ori that gave me the ability to be accepted. I'm not evangelizing anything or evangelizing if I, I'm actually practicing the form that it's gone, it, it goes with my language, mm. my being. Mm. So when I come to Nigeria, the only thing that I think that is left for me in this Nigeria are the verses of Ifa, hanging around with the Babalao, hanging out with, around with the great drummers, hanging around with the Awoni Sheshe. I can't come here to study English. Okay. Of course not. I'll go to Somerset for that. Yeah. I'll go to Dorset. Yes. I'll go to Lancashire. Yeah. yeah. I can come to Nigeria. For Yoruba. Oh, I would like to know who are the Olodus of, of our Romulus. Mm. I would like to know why Shango did not hang at Koso. Mm. <laughs> this is deep stuff. Deep. You, you, you did? Yeah. Yeah. I, I would like to know why Oshun Shegesi Beautiful woman, elegant, more than Naomi Campbell. Oh, wow. More than what you will see at Alara Lagos. More than the food that you will see at Nock. More than palate, yeah, you will go to Arrods, you know, and see elegancy. These are the kind of things that come. That's, that's mm. what is left you in your Do you wear any other you color besides white? I wear all colors oh, apart from black. Oh, yeah. So, so, in, okay. yeah, in, in, head Mary, so, 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 yeah. so I'm listening to you and I realize how robbed I've been of my oh, own been denied. culture, yeah. <laughs> Nigerian culture. The Christian religion and the culture and Western culture just comes easily to me because I grew up, I listened, went to school, and I'm here. And the only times I hear about the culture of Nigeria is when we're talking about rituals and human sacrifice mm. and how it is dark. And here you are talking about it so beautifully how beautiful and how much we have. Uh, so I'm listening to you and I'm saying, okay, are you doing anything, or how do we grab you and say, and have you start to teach us? And where do we go for some of us who will be, who are just curious and interested in understanding where we come from and how we can make it a part of our lives daily and also introduce our children to it? Where do we start? If I is philosophy. Okay. If I is psychology. If I is history. If I is uh, mathematics. Hmm. Uh, if I is. Uh, you name all the subjects. Is if I, I teach at university, um, I studied film and television. Yeah. And let's put the blood away. Let's put the thing away. When you see the Christian going at it, 
chewing that psalm, the parable, mm. the, proverbs. the proverbs, the New Testament, they were actually unpacking what the pastor is doing in the church is unpacking the scripture. So when you say Babalao or a good guy who knows a lawyer, we call them a lawyer, who knows their sefer, they can unpack that thing. Mm. And it's actually the grace of God. It's, it's the grace of God for any pastor, really. Uh, Adeboye, uh, great guy. Look, when, can you see Paul at the Pharisee speaking English? Mm -hmm. The way he dressed, okay. the manners and everything. You think like that, a Baba Lao that studied at Harvard, mm -hmm. or Yale, mm -hmm. or Connecticut, mm -hmm. or Princeton, or Ife. Look at Professor Wandi Abimbola, the way he will deliver the Odu and swim in it in mm -hmm. the language of it. So, oh, wow. and he dressed really nice. It's just, uh, it's education, not Western education, mm -hmm. it's self-education. Oh, 